now I have to wait 15 seconds because the sampling time of this instrument is 15 seconds. So it's very, very nice for the sound production, for the sound reproduction to have this long sampling time because the sound stays natural without going into an artificial loop for a very, very long time. Let me show you uh, some of the components of the piano sound that uh, we do have here. So very important for a good piano sound is of course the quality of sound itself, but also the component like uh, resonance that we have. So this is uh, the resonance that happens continuously in the piano when you play the piano. And uh, we, uh, we constantly have these resonances calculated to the sound. We have the upper part that is uh, without the damper. And again, this is not by DSP. It's from the real sound, it's from the real grand piano, okay? Then also we have the hammer noise. And we have even the key off noise. So when you lift the hand, you can hear. And due to the 24-bit, 48 uh, kilohertz sampling, we have a large dynamic range. Actually, the dynamic range is 256 times higher than in a 16-bit instrument. Okay, so let me show you the very pianissimo, pianissimo. Which you cannot hear at the moment. Also, we have 320 oscillators, so we have basically unlimited polyphony. You can really squeeze the instrument to its limit, and uh, you always have the correct note. We have several piano sounds, so the next piano sound I'd like to show to you is the pop piano, which is a little bit more crisp, a little bit more bright. So in this little bit more bright piano sound has made, been, maybe been made by the piano tuner by just making the hammers a little bit more hard. It's not by EQ, it's really inside the sound. Of course you can also layer the piano sound with the synthesizer sound. powerful sound. But of course we also have very traditional sounds such as the harpsichord. And we took care of the note off sound. So when you release, you can hear this noise that is uh, also of course happening in the harpsichord. Then we can layer this harpsichord sound with a string sound. Also, we took uh, the pleasure and liberty to sample a 1850 model of Playel. So this is uh, an instrument from the time where Chopin was living and he wrote his music. 
a real 1850 sound in this instrument. Again, very different timbre from the uh, Vivo Grand, which is the signature sound of this instrument. Also, we have a upright piano. This one you can also use for practicing, of course. But at the time, my practice piano was more sounding like... Still practicing, huh? So this is the real honky-tonk sound inside the instrument. And again, this has been made by the piano tuner. It's not the piano with a strange chorus effect. It's really made by honky-tonk tuning. So you can go for this kind of music. But we took it one step further because we also put little nails, little pin nails into the hammers to reach the uh, American Western piano sound that is also used for a silent movie. Okay, so leaving the category of uh, acoustic pianos, we go to uh, the category of pipe organ sounds that we also have in our Vivo pianos. And we also have the choir. Tutti. The good news is that uh, all the sounds you are listening to at the moment in the S7 are also available in all the other instruments. So we don't make a difference in terms of sound quality or number of sound in all our instruments. And let's go back. Uh, one more time to the Vivo signature sound, the Vivo Grand. Which is a very strong, shiny piano. But also we created a classical piano sound. Which is a little bit more mellow, so you can go for the romantic. for this kind of music as well. Going to the next category of sound, we will listen to the electric pianos that we have inside the S7 and all the other Vivo pianos here on the stand. And of course, there's an editing function where you can decide for yourself how you want to have your piano sound or your electric piano sound. This was just a pure sample, so no uh, additional DSP effect. But of course, we have DSP effects such as overdrive, so if I connect basically the Rhodes piano to a guitar amp, we can have this kind of sound. But if I use an effect such as a phaser, I get the typical Billy Joel kind of sound. Another typical Billy Joel sound is the CP80.
And the next famous sound we put into this instrument is the Roland RD-1000 sound. Also, we have an audio player. The buttons for that are here. The volume knob is here. Let's go for it. electric piano sound we have in the instrument is this one. And here you can also hear all the noises that are, are happening in the clavinet. Next sound, the Wulitzer electric piano. the possibility of having a split point. Next sound, FM piano from the 80s. category of electric pianos we go to the category of drawbar organ sounds Spicing up the organ sound with an overdrive DSP effect. So also this sound is very, very powerful. During this Frankfurt Messe, we released the software version 2.0 of all our instruments. And in this version, we have several new things. For example, now, we are able to import new sounds in our instruments. So you can go to the internet, for example, and look for SF2 sound font files. You get already thousands of sounds. You can download, some of them are for free, some of them are a couple of euro, and then you can import into your Vivo piano. I just did this with one, with one sound, um, which I got for free. I just researched and I could download, so here we go. So even if it's for free, it's very good, huh? it's amazing. And this kind of sound you can uh, load into your instrument. Another function that is new in this software version is the function of being a master keyboard in our S3 and S7. So we have four split zones on the keyboard. We have the possibility of assigning dedicated controllers to the different split zones. We have possibility of using these knobs. I'd like to give you an example. So I loaded one synthesizer app on my iPad, and I'm playing and controlling this app now from the master keyboard S7. Mm -hmm. 
First of all, the volume I do with my expression pedal. Then here I can, for example, have the filter of the sound. The resonance. Pitch bend. But the real beauty starts when on top of that I can use the piano sound, the Vivo Grand sound in the S7. using the instrument master keyboard and also the internal sound. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, Vivo Piano one more time. And I'd like to play one more song and show you also one more feature, which we call the chord freeze feature. So you can play any kind of chord, like minor triad, and then press freeze and the instrument will remember what you just did, okay? Or if maybe diminished chord. It's very difficult <laughs> without this one. Or just play an octave. Without chord freeze. With chord freeze.
over 15 seconds of sampling time. If you want to try our instruments, they're all there. Other than that, please stay until the end of the song and then have a wonderful day here in Frankfurt on the Musikmesse 2016. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.